today is my favorite day. Are we together? If today is your favorite day, sing along with me. Today is my favorite day. He made it a special day. I love tomorrow, yesterday, but today is my favorite day. How are you? Are you okay? I'm fine. It's your teacher, Anunciata. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Wow. We are now on something else called plus value. Do you remember we did plus value in grade one? We did plus value in grade two. And now here again, we are on plus value grade three. What is plus value? Plus value is the position of a number. I have been given here a number like 38. Then they tell me, identify the plus value of this number. I have so many things that can help me identify the plus value of this number. In grade one, we did plus value using the bundles of sticks. We did the plus value using the bundles of sticks. So I've been told to identify the plus value. What did we say? The rule number one. All the numbers on the right hand form the are in the ones plus value. All the numbers on the right hand are in the ones plus value. And all the numbers on the left hand are in the tens plus value. All the numbers on the left hand are in the tens plus value. So if I'm told to show the plus value of that number using the bundles of sticks, we said when I have one stick like this, this is a one. Doesn't have any other name, it is just one. When they are two, they become two ones. When they are three, they are three ones. When they are four, they are four ones. When they are five, they become five ones. But now when I have it like this, we say this is a bundle of how many sticks? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is a one ten. What is a one ten? A one ten is a bundle of how many sticks? A bundle of ten sticks. One bundle of ten sticks. So I have a 110 like that and they have told me to show which number? To show the 3 tens and 8 ones. Then I come here again. I have another bundle of 10 sticks. So how many bundles of 10 sticks do I have? I have two bundles of 10 sticks. I have two bundles of 10 sticks. Then, but the question says they want three bundles of 10 sticks. So I'll add another one. Three bundles of 10 sticks. And they're here with me. Now I have three bundles of how many sticks? 10 sticks. Three bundles of 10 sticks. Very good. But now, have I finished my question? I have not. Why? They have said I showed the number 38 using bundles of sticks. So will I take the full bundle of 10 sticks and put there? No. Why? The, the, the 8 is in the 1's plus value. So the 8 cannot be in the 10's plus value. The 8 cannot be in the 10's plus value. So we only have we only have eight single sticks that I will put in there to represent the eight sticks. So I'll count. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So when I come here, I will put them single like this. This is one, This is two, show number 38 using the bundles of sticks. This is three, this is four, 
this is five this is six this is seven and this is eight so i have shown number 38 using the bundles of sticks which gives me three tens one two three and how many ones these are three tens and how many ones eight ones so if i'm asked this number in total is which number i have eight three 38 is equals to three tens and eight ones what if i'm told now i'm not going to use the bundles of sticks this time round. i've been told use the abacus do you know what is an abacus an abacus looks like this and it has so many sticks with rings so it depends with how many do you want if i only have ones and tens this is how my abacus will be but if i want to increase it to a third one which is a hundred i'll still add there and that is how my abacus is so i've been told now using your abacus and i want to use this as my abacus this one represents tens are you seeing this is a letter t representing tens and this is ones are we together so i've been told on my ones i need how many eight ones so let me choose a different color so that it doesn't so how many ones am i supposed to put here one i'm supposed to put here one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, how many ones do I have there? I have eight ones. I have eight ones in there on my abacus which is there I can see my abacus when you're told to represent the same same number using the abacus i have my abacus this is for ones so i have one two three four five six seven eight then the tens i will how many tens am i supposed to have only three tens so i will put there my two then three so i have how many tens three tens and eight as simple as that in grade two we did the plus value teens i can still represent the same same number using the plus value teens at the end of the day i will have done the same same thing so if for example i was supposed to draw an abacus representing this number it will be the same same number with my abacus these are Tens. These are ones. So how many ones am I supposed to have? They have said three tens and eight ones. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And one, two, three. And it's as simple as that.
use the plus value tens or the sticks or the abacus. Now, I have now been given here a table which all of us, I want all of us to fill it nicely. I've just told you we have not started grade 3 work. We are still reviewing grade 1 and grade 2 work. These are the things we did in grade 1 and grade 2. Now, let's fill this table nicely. We have already done the 1s and the 10s, so filling this table will be very easy. My table is here nicely. They have written here. This is the number. This is the tens. And this is the ones. So, number is here. Use beautiful color. I have the number and after that I have these are the tens and these are the ones. So I've been given here a number three eight four six nine seven eight and I have here eighty. I've been told Fill in the table correctly. So we start with the eight ones, three tens. We said if the number appears as a single digit, what do you do? You put a zero before that number. So you'll have four ones and zero tens. Then here it will be nine ones and six tens. So I want people to fill in the missing numbers fill in the missing numbers using the examples above up to there any problem any question I wish you well and i hope to see you in the next lesson as we explore more methods on plus value thank you